so now we will just see how we can uh, build a framework or library like axios so what is the use of axios you very well know that it is a library to simplify the uh, ajax operation you can fetch data from any uh, you can create all the CRUD operations uh, using javascript so now we can just have a small uh, look on a very simple uh, example here that is like uh, there is a this is a web page i'm loading there is nothing here you can see there is a content coming here so this content is coming from a file called sample.txt so what i'm doing is i'm just creating a simple div tag empty container there is nothing inside this so when the web page is loaded we are creating a h uh, HTTP, I mean, it's like a HTTP request that means a JavaScript request in which you are going to send a get request to a file called sample.txt. So that file is here, you can see it here. You can add any, any, any number of data like a h3 um, sample text like this. You can put all HTML like this. So whenever the page is loading, I'm going to send a get request to that particular uh, file, fetch all the content inside this and bring it and paste it inside this. So that's what the operation is happening. So this is where the HTTP, this is a traditional way of doing things which doesn't require any framework by, because this is by default JavaScript. So when I'm going and refreshing that page, you can see how the content is being loaded. So let me go to Please save this and uh, let me send a request like this. Now you can see. Let me go here and refreshing it. So when I'm refreshing it, you can see I'm going to send a request to this file. I'm getting the response. Now, what we need to do is let's build a simple. Uh, let's simplify this one using our own uh, axios or whatever you, you can so call. So what I'm doing is I'm going to create a file called axios.js. It's in the same directory where the, it's, it, our file is there. So let's connect that particular source file here, axios.js. Now, <coughs> what we can do is, let's go and refresh it and let's view page source. Uh, okay, now the file is loaded. So any JavaScript framework can be written using exactly the same way. Let's call window.axios. This is the name of the framework. So we have to attach this name with the Windows object. That's equal to windows.axios or an empty object. So what does it mean? That means now if i i'm just checking whether there is already an object called windows.axios if it is there just use that one itself or i'm just initiating an empty array so let's go to the browser here let's go and refresh here now let's see the console let's clear this let's refresh this now let's see axios it's not there because it's not defined what happened is mm, Let's see Windows Axios. No, Axios is not defined. Somewhere the error is there. So let's go there. Go to this page. Okay. It should be like this. Or Axios. Axios. Let's go and refresh it. I just do it a hard refresh it. Windows. No Windows or Axios. Can you see here now? Axios is now available in the. Now it's an empty array. Now the library is there. So let's go and add certain things. Axios dot version is equal to zero point one. Now let's go and hard refresh it. Now axios dot version. Can you see how any uh, frameworks have been written? 
now axios is having couple of methods let's add one method axios dot get equal to a function this function will take a url and the data i'm writing this function let's go to this code copy this exactly like the same way come here paste it now the url will be this one okay and uh, it's a get request we already defined it and uh, we need we don't need to do all, all this thing let's take the response when the function is done and I don't want to attach to anything else let me return this one now you know what happens is I'm adding I've created a modular code data also it's not needed because we are just sending a get request so when I'm passing the data it ultimately will return me that so now this library is reusable so anyone can use axios to do send a request that will do all these things and return back the data so that's the ultimate uh, thing here also what we can do is come here now let's write axios way axios first we'll check it out if it's available on the dom i'm coming here i'm refreshing it now axios dot get yeah i can see that function is available it's already written now what I need to do is same exercise axios dot get what is the file name sample dot txt now let me comment it and see what happens so I'm running this and I'm just going and refreshing it in the network tab yes it's going it's returning a response so well, what I can do this is the response I'm getting so let's console it and see undefined so the get request is sending a data but the response is not there so we need to return here a response after doing all these things what it is doing it's doing a function it reduced it is it's returning in okay now HTTP dot on ready change. Um, let's return the HTTP itself and see what happens. I'm coming here, saving it. Let me come here, go to the console, refresh it. Yes, it's getting me the complete data about the response. So I can get the response very frankly. Response text is here response type so what i'm going to do i don't want to do anything i want only that response of that now let me come to this point and so let me clear all refresh it and i'm doing a refresh typing is coming so let's see what happens the get request is taking and it is it, should, it is returning the http response uh, let me come to this point. Let's refresh it and see. Now I'm getting the HTTP heading. So this response text, let me take it. Uh, dot response text. I'm coming here, refreshing it. It will take a moment of time because that request has to complete. But you understood that how I am create how a framework works. For example, the HTTP is there. I'm going to take this only on ready state. On if if let me check on that. Check what is the status. If I'm getting a status, it should be okay. Status if I'm getting a status text okay, then I have to ready status code. Return. Let me put this one is equal to something like here. 
Okay. Okay. Response. Okay. Good. No. Okay. Good. Then that response. What are we getting? No. Hopefully it should work. Can I see here? Now the data has been worked. So this is how we can go and add more methods to that framework called is the post method. Like that you can go and write to URL data and other parameters. You can define the methods. So likewise for each method, if you are so this is what is Axios. Axios is not doing anything. It's just doing the same thing what you are doing. But here you can see in a very single single line of code. That's it. 